This is Phonic FM 106.8 and you are listening to Cathy Towers from the Speaking Out show. We have a pre-recorded section here of interviews with some of the actors, including myself, from the Harold Pinter play The Birthday Party. And you will also be hearing from the hosts of that show, which is the Exeter Library. Hi, my name is Caleb. I'm the Senior Supervisor for Development and Innovation over at Exeter Library. We've recently started a programme of live evening events, which is a new thing for the library. And we've been programming all sorts of events from theatre to music and workshops, as well as our festival style library lates events. As part of our latest programme of events, we are putting on a rendition of Harold Pinter's The Birthday Party uh, in the library over four nights at the end of January. Uh, earlier in 2022, I was approached by a local theatre practitioner, Kate Hocking, about the possibility of staging some drama plays in the library space with an ensemble of local actors. There hasn't really been much of a space in Exeter for up-and-coming theatre practitioners to develop and show their work, and the library seemed like a very uh, sensible option. It's a very open, accessible space for the community, and it might allow others who might feel um, not accepted in commercial theatre venues, uh, it might encourage their, those sorts of people to come and experience uh, higher-level art that might interest them without the connotations of a more formal theatre space. Uh, I'm, I'm very excited to host the Ex Ensemble's birthday party um, because it's doing a run of four nights. So each and every evening we're going to be turning around our library space downstairs, moving all the shelves around, um, making seating and building a stage for each of the nights. So it's the first time we've done a run of this sort in the downstairs library space. So it's going to be very, very exciting for me from a logistical point of view. I'm really looking forward to it. My name is Emerson Pike, and I'm playing the role of Goldberg in The Birthday Party with uh, the fantastic new company, The X Ensemble. Very excited to do this play, um, especially as I was a very last-minute replacement for an actor who had to uh, drop out, unfortunately. So I've come in quite last minute and had to dive straight along into this part, and it's quite the part to dive headlong into. So Goldberg is this enigmatic force of nature who sweeps into the play, a little bit into the proceedings, and proceeds to dominate or attempt to dominate every other character who's in the room, which can be very fun to play. Never quite know who he is. There's many interpretations of the characters over the years. Um, does he represent, you know, the, the Jewish uh, community with McCann representing Catholicism, the two major monotheistic religions in this country that are there to break down a sense of individuality and self in poor old Stanley Weber, who we've come to harass? Or are we just more representative of the state itself? Who knows? Are we just two-bit gangsters? We'll let the people decide, but it's it's really fun playing with those ambiguities, just planting seeds of doubts and making them a bit weird, a bit more off kilter. So yeah, it's been really, really fun. This is my first time working with the X Ensemble. So they're a brand new company uh, founded by Kate Lynn Hocking and really exciting to be working with her because I met Kate last year. We were doing a project uh, do about Ukrainian play readings and it was bringing together local artists doing this fantastic project uh, where we were doing rehearsed readings of of plays that were written in response uh, to the, the Russian invasion in Ukraine. Through those connections, uh, she thought to bring me on board when the need to bring in the late replacement came up. And, and she's fantastic. The, the exercises she does with us in terms of exploring character, thought process using improvisation to really find our intentions um, and the enthusiasm that drives that woman through the day and through these rehearsals. It's really infectious. And yeah, I really think it's uh, conductive to making a really great piece of theater. My name's Cathy Towers and I'm playing the role of Meg in The Birthday Party. And I was going to say she was a bit of a fantasist, but actually she's a huge fantasist. She really doesn't get the cues that are happening around her and cannot read people well at all. She's living in her own little world. And that means that she's trying to get her needs met through very particular ways. She cares about Stanley and yet she's constantly invading his body space and uh, playing with him in a way that he's not appreciating and she doesn't get when people may be risky or dangerous either and she gets played a lot as a result. There's two things I'm really enjoying. I'm working with friends with people I already know for the most part and so we, we're a strong supportive team 
and we've got each other's backs. And the other thing is working with Caitlin Hocking, who, what a gift as a first director. This is my first, first time acting. I'm usually improvising. And she is so positive and so supportive and has so many fantastic ideas. So even if she makes me do a, a little tiny piece of a scene 30 times over in different ways every time, I don't mind because I'm absolutely loving it. I'm Nadia and I'm playing Lulu. Um, what is Lulu about? She's been described as a bit of fluff. <laughs> she brings the, the innocence into the play, perhaps a bit of light in the dark, but very quickly I think she uh, is brought into that that dark space as well and, and becomes manipulated into, into something. And I, and I feel that by the end of the play, she's a very different character. She's kind of broken um, through what's happened to her and what she's seen. So the rehearsal process has been really good fun, sort of collaborating with everyone, but it, it's also quite hard going because the, the subject matter is so heavy, it, it does affect you, I think. And I think that's a good thing because you sort of, step into the world of those characters it's a very physical play as well as a very mental play overall quite tiring <laughs> but quite rewarding i think just to see where see how far you can push it it's uh watching particularly stanley lose lose his mind is quite difficult i think for anybody because it, it escalates and escalates and escalates and you don't quite know when it's going to end um, or how it's going to end. But I think for every character, there's like an unravelling. Everyone sort of starts to lose a sense of self, I think, which is quite really unsettling to watch and to play. But I think it speaks truth to what a lot of people go through. It being called a comedy of menace, I think the comedy is really needed in this piece because otherwise it would be too dark and too difficult to watch and to play because because how heavy it is and I think the the lightness um in some moments kind of acts as a relief for the characters and the audience which makes it more watchable and and more relatable as well I really like my first scene with Stan I mean I really like working with Sam anyway I think I just really enjoy playing with him on stage but the fact that that scene is arguably the lightest scene in the play because she is, at that point, she's not met Goldberg and she's very uh, sure of herself and there is, there is humour and lightness between them, I think, and that's really fun to play. Because the start of the play is, is quite difficult with Meg and Stan as well as PT as well. And I, I like the fact that I come in as a little bit of light relief and I'm hoping, because we're still in the middle of the rehearsal process at the moment, I'm hoping to sort of bring more light to that scene um, as we work on it a little bit more. I, I don't know how I feel about the live performances until I'm there because I've not, uh, I've not done it in a long time, but I'm looking forward to it. The added adrenaline will really help with uh, the intensity of some of the scenes. I think the play will be feel very different in, in front of people because of its intensity and the energy you'll get from the audience as well. You can get tickets for X Ensemble's version of Harold Pinter's birthday party via Exeter Library Eventbrite or at Exeter Phoenix. The show is on from the 25th to the 28th of January, starting at 7.30 at Exeter Library. And tickets are £12.50 or £15.